Hello everyone, welcome to this video by IntelliPath. Today we are going to discover some of the important array operations that you can perform with the help of NumPy library. NumPy is basically a Python library often used in the context of machine learning and data science. It provides a multitude of array operations, some of which we are going to cover with this particular session. Now let me tell you guys about the agenda that we have for this particular session. We'll begin this video by covering basic NumPy arithmetic functions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. Then we'll glance through functions for array comparison as well as aggregation functions in NumPy. After that, we'll take you through the concept of broadcasting. But before we begin with the session, please make sure to enable both the subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across more updates from our team. So first we have is addition using NumPy. So for performing some addition, we have a sum function up here. Let's see how does it work. NumPy array mathematics. And in this, we are learning about addition. Okay. Import NumPy as NP. You can write any name apart from NP. If you write any, that is also fine. We are just following the convention and writing NP up here. Okay. So now what if I want to find the sum of two numbers? So what I'll do, I'll call this sum function. So I can call np.sum, np.sum inside that sum of two numbers. What are those two number? 10 and 20. It will just give me the result as 30. As simple as that. You can even use a variable like using a variable. So let's define a comma b equal 10 comma 20 and np.sum. I want a sum of a plus b using a variable that is sum of a plus b okay so np dot sum a comma b executed what error did we got access 20 out of bonds for array of dimension zero so always remember whenever you are writing some parameter inside the sum make sure that you are placing them inside the square brackets okay as the sum function only takes the array of values okay so now if i executed the error would be resolved okay so we got the value as 30. now what if i want to find the sum of a particular axis like i have a two cross two matrix and inside that i want to find the sum of just my first axis or just my first column let's see how we can do it so here let's define np dot sum inside that let's pass some array like 1 comma 2 and another array like 5 comma 6 okay so now what if i want to print the sum of 5 plus 1 and 6 plus 2 so in that case i'll just mention like axis equal 0 okay so you'll get the output as 6 comma 8 5 plus 1 6 and 6 plus 2 8 now what if i want to print the value of 1 plus 2 and 5 plus 6. So in that case, np dot sum array of 1 comma 2, same number. Nothing need to be changed, just the axis value would change. Okay. 5 comma 6. Now specify the axis value as 1. This is the only change that you have to do. So here you'll get the output as 3 and 6 plus 5, 11. So you got the output as 3 comma 11. Correct. Now what if I don't specify the axis up here? So what values do you think I'll get? What if I remove this? Let's see. So I got the value as 14. How? So it summed up 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6. So it gave me the entire sum of all the elements of the array. That is 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6. That is 14. Okay. Similarly, like sum, we have other important function up here like subtract, divide, multiply, exponent, square root, sine function, cos function, log function and many more. Let's see some of them. Now, let's copy up this title, NumPy array addition. Here what we are performing, let's change it to subtraction. Now to perform subtraction, we have a method as, so we have to call the function subtract. Let's see an example, like np dot subtract what do you want to subtract like any value of like 10 comma 20 so we'll get the output as minus 10 10 minus 20 so you got the value as minus 10 okay similarly what if i want to find the multiplication of two number so i'll just write np dot multiply 2 comma 3 
let's take two number multiplication of two number so you'll get the output as six let me just add one more heading up here all other numpy mathematics function so inside this we saw for multiply now let's check out for division so so for dividing two numbers we have function as divide so np dot divide divide what let's divide 10 by 5 here we are doing we are dividing two numbers okay let's execute it so we got the result as 2.0 okay so here all the operation that we perform with sum can also be performed with subtract multiply divide or anything okay it's like here we use a variable so here we are summing up two array with axis zero here we are summing up axis one so all those function can even be done with np dot subtract np dot multiply or np dot divide let me just show you with one example let's just copy it and let's paste it up here so instead of sum let's change it to divide and execute it invalid number of arguments now let me just show you how you can divide two arrays so let's define two array up here like a equal np dot array it consists of two four and six okay and other array b b equal np dot array inside this i'll pass one two three now let's divide array a with array b so np dot divide array a with array b let's see what result do we get so we got the divided result of two different arrays fine similar operation we can perform with multiplication so you got the value as 2 8 and 6 freeze are 80 okay so we also have other function as exponent square root sine cos and log so let's see them one by one so all you have to do is change the function so we have exponent function for calculating the exponents so we have exp function for calculating the exponents sqrt function for calculating the square root sine function for finding out the sine value of an array similarly cost function for finding out the cost value of the array and similarly log function to find out the log value of the array let's see them one by one again so there's our array we have already defined it so let's use all these function one by one print np dot exponent of a okay execute it so this is the exponent of a that is e to the power a okay e to the power 2 is 7.38 e to the power 4 is 54.5 e to the power 6 is 403.42 okay let's just copy this function and let's find the square root of all the elements of a so sqrt so this is our square root let's add one more thing this will make things more clear square root and here it was exponent fine copy this now we'll calculate the sine sine is np dot sine value of a again we have to check for cos so cos is np dot cos and finally log so we have log as np dot log okay execute it so we got all the values of here exponent is this square root is this sine of 246 is this cos of 246 log of 246 okay so these are some of the mathematical function that you can perform using numpy so let's move ahead let's go back to our ppt so we already discussed this part and we also learned about all these different types of other function that you can perform and we also discussed about the error that you might get so let's move ahead so next we have is the array comparison so in this we have element wise comparison and array wise comparison let's see them one by one so here we have is array comparison okay so let's define two or three arrays okay so a equal like one two four let's define b b equal two four six and let's define one more 
C equal again 1, 2 and 4 same as A. Okay. So now let's use NumPy to perform an element wise comparison of these arrays. So for this I'll write NP dot equal let's write A comma B. So it will compare 1 with 2, 2 with 4 and 4 with 6. So if these two elements are equal it will return true in other case false. So for now what output do you think we'll get? Well, for now, all the output would be false, right? As 1 is not equal to 2, 2 is not equal to 4, and 4 is not equal to 6. But what if you change this B to C? So in this case, you'll get all the true values. Just for understanding, just change this 6 to 4. Now, let's compare A with B. So in this case, we have last as true. So these two are false and one is true. So two false and one true value. So two false and one true. Correct? So this was about the element-wise comparison. Okay. Now next we'll see. Now next, uh, let's perform a array-wise comparison. Okay. Let's just copy them. Okay. Now in this, I want to compare the entire array. If all the elements of array A equal to all the elements of array B, then only in that case we'll get the output as true. In all the other case, we'll get the output as false. Let me just show you with this example. So np dot array underscore equal. So this is the function that we are going to use for comparing two arrays. So like this, compare A and B. Even if one of the element is different, we'll get the output as false. So here we got the output as false. See, executed false. So here what we have a124 and b144. So we had two elements equal in a and b, right? Just two and four were different. And even then we are getting false. What if I just change the value to c? So in this case, we'll get the output as true. Correct? So this was about array wise comparison. So now that we have learned how to compare two arrays, both element wise and array wise. So let's move ahead and see what we have next. So we are done with this example. Next we have is the aggregate function. So under this we'll see how to perform various statistical calculations on the array. Okay, let me show you with an example. Aggregate function. So here, let's again copy paste the value of a, b and c. So in aggregate function, what all things we can do? We can perform an array wise sum or we can find the minimum value of an array or the mean of an array, the median or correlation coefficient of an array or even the standard deviation of the array. Alright, let's print all of them one by one. So here I want to print my sum. So print np dot sum of array a. So it will give me the sum, right? 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is 9. Wait, just to clarify it, sum is this. Then let's print the minimum value from the array. So our minimum value is np dot min of a. Now let's print the mean value. So mean is np dot mean of a. It's as simple as that. Right? Print median is np dot median of a then print correlation coefficient is np dot correlation coefficient of a and finally the standard deviation standard deviation is what it's np dot std of a okay so let's execute it So we got the value as sum 7, minimum value is 1, 1 to 4, correct? Mean is 2.33, that is 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is 7 by 3, 2.33, median is 2.0, correlation coefficient, that is 1, and standard deviation is 1.24, okay? So this was about the aggregate function. Let's come back. So next we have is NumPy broadcasting. So let's see what exactly is. For example, we have two array 
with different dimension right but make sure the number of rows or number of columns are same okay so in this case what we have is same number of element in each array okay so it's like when you add first array to the second array what it does it simply adds it like so here you can see we got as 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 2 is 2 but here again 10 plus 0 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 10 plus 2 is 12 so similarly what it did it broadcasted this value and add all these value to different rows of this array okay so same values being added to this row this row this row and this row okay so this is the concept of broadcasting as this particular array is broadcasted and summed with all the element of this particular array. Let me just show you with an example. This is concept of broadcasting. Okay. Let's import numpy as np. Let's define an array as np dot array. Inside that, let's place few values 0 0 0 and then 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 let's take one more let's take it as 5 6 7 okay now let's define another array b b equal np dot array so in this let's specify a number like 0 1 and 2 so this is the number which will be added to 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 5, 6, 7. And this is the concept of broadcasting. Okay, let me just show you. Print first array. First array is what? A, right? Change the line. And then print the value of second array. And then print the value of first array plus second array. And that is A plus B. Okay, execute it. So here we got the output as first array is this, second array is this. And in first array plus second array, you can see that 0, 1, 2 is added to all these numbers. Fine. So this was the concept of broadcasting. And with this, we come to the end of NumPy Array Mathematics. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced certification in data science and AI in collaboration with iHub Divya Samparka, IIT Roorkee. Through this course, you can learn all the important concepts of data science and AI from esteemed IIT Roorkee faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in field of data science and AI.